Hello, I am back, and here, here is a, what looks like a normal K3, K5 HL, however, this is a modified K5 HL. <clears throat> Pretty much what I have is Bell's 1L, 1, 2, 3B, and 4, a special, unique number 4. Now, with these Bell's, I'm experimenting with the 1L. Next time you hear that again, is I'm going to have a special shim on it. I'll show you that shim in a minute. But I want to show you what's special with the number four. So, let's flip her bottom side top. And let's see what exactly do I mean. Okay, so, let's take this off. Now, I forgot to mention that this is a brand new horn. All the bells, except for the number 1L, is brand new. So, this is what they all look like. You can see it's got the, still got the machining marks still on there. Put that aside. <coughs> and so, what do we got? You can see that frames are in good shape. But, this is what makes it unique. This is a removable shim that I have 3D printed out of my 3D printer, which is right here. This is the Ender 3 Pro. I got some filament on there, so I got some couple rolls left on there. But um, if you do get one of these, I recommend putting some glass on here because the sheet that they give you is works pretty well. However, printing on glass is so much easier because when you're done the whole piece just comes right off no problem so that's what I use to print this you know what, let me let me show you what that is let me show you how the quality looks let's take that off shall we okay so use your sham right here now it does a very good job. This right here is smooth, and I had and I designed this in CAD, where I ca had the screw holes countersinked a little bit, so this way I can put countersink screws in there because I want this thing to be flush. Well, focus, you fuck. Thank you. You can see it's practically flush, and that's why I want it because this thing has to sit very close to the diaphragm, but not touching the diaphragm. And that is very important right there. So with that, so I'm experiment. Like I said, I'm experimenting, experimenting with the 1L, because I'm gonna do a first run with this, and then I'm gonna do a second run with this piece right here. This is also printed out of my 3D printer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it like this. See what you guys think, and if it sounds a little off, and if I have to lower the note a little bit, I I made this special shim right here. This is 15 millimeters, like so. So let's see how it sounds just like this, and then if I have to, I'll add the shim right here. But I want to make this just be on the safe side in case if I need it. So, without further ado, put the shim back on, put the diaphragms in, back cap, and just put this on my rig and test it out for a run. And here we go. Focus! You fuck! Thank you. Okay. KS5P, take two. <laughs> 